So hello everyone. So who is Japanese? Raise hands. Can I speak Japanese? No. <laughs> this is English session. So thank you for taking time for this session. So we are talking about Japan open stock market potential and how to be successful in the crowd. So first of all, I'm going to introduce today's speakers. My name is Hiroshi Koyuai, working for CTC. I will introduce CTC and uh, uh, give the information about uh, CTC activities of OpenStack. And uh, Mr. Francesco Paola, he is CEO from Solinia. Uh, we start partnership for making great success in Japanese market. He will introduce Solinia and uh, our partnership overview. Also, he will explain building OpenStack Cloud using excellent case study. So Mr. Tomoaki Nakajima, he is also working for uh, CTC and same as him as me. He is also chairman of Japan OpenStack User Group. He will explain using OpenStack Cloud from application side. So I'll introduce CTC a little bit first. So mainly we are system integrator in Japan. So we are providing consultation, outsourcing, and the system integration. So we are, we are also providing DC and uh, on cloud and the security service as well. So we have local subsidiaries in United States, Silicon Valley, and uh, New York, and in Asia, Singapore, and Malaysia. So today, some members joined this event from Malaysia and Singapore. So if somebody from Malaysia and Singapore, we will be able to introduce our staff at the booth. So our sales become $3.2 billion for much customer industry. So this is our industry leading client base. So we have about 8,500 customers in March industries. So please remember CTC is a famous system integrator in Japan. So let's get back to the subject. So in my presentation, I explain about Japanese enterprise open stock market status and uh, CTC activity recently. So before I talk about the subject, I let you know as a premise. Uh, premise. So let me read this slide. The Japanese market is very conservative when it comes to adaptive new technology. There is also conserv conservative culture when it comes to upgrading in existing systems. There is a resistance to change. So this culture causes an adoption time, time lag between Japan and North America. So we think Japanese IT technology, especially adoption technology and uh, maintenance culture, is uh, one or two years late behind North America. So especially when something new technology and uh, business method were born in North America. So this is our insight in the Japanese open stock enterprise ma market. So Japanese enterprise open stock market is small now. But uh, CTC believes that adoption will soon take off. So uh, I'm giving the explanation why we think this way. So this thread explains about activity since uh, 2011. So here are two organization approach to the customer in Japan. So one is system integrator. So their approach uh, to the customer for business basically. So for example, uh, selling distribution, software, hardware, something like that. So the other one is uh, Japan OpenStack user group. This is community based. So they work on the spread of OpenStack in Japan. So they approach to the customer for market enlightenment. So we cities have two functional phases. So these two approaches were very important. So we did many conversations with the customer with two phases. So we gave them a lot of information which was uh, high level, sometimes basic things. So this slide provides feedback analysis from our activities. So we told mainly the impact of OpenStack utilization, 
And uh, the customer divided into positive and negative very clearly. And we can subdivide more as this slide. You can see this one. I'm sorry to small character. So I explained this from the lower left. Uh, first one is I already use OpenStack. So this customer know about OpenStack very well. So and, uh, they have already used OpenStack. It's like Yahoo. So, but here are not so many this kind of customer now. So next one is under in investigation. So this customer definitely has a requirement to develop new IT service. For example, it becomes a third platform service like IoT, big data, social, uh, mobile, etc. So they are starting a plan and a POC, and they need more integration and ad adaption technique for realizing production environment. So next one is I don't need it now. So this customer thinks that OpenStack is a technology for service company. So they don't have a requirement to build flexible infrastructure and new development style. But uh, we think they will be changed to become developing new IT service uh, for their business. So last one is a potential need from LOB. So this customer, there are no requirements from IT development. But uh, LOB has already applied flexible development platform service like AWS, Azure, Bluemix, something like that. So in other words, it may be said that uh, this customer have a potential of open stack. So using this analysis, we divided the customer into a category ABC. So this is our approach and solution. So for category A user, we are providing product integration. Uh, for example, an OCP, solid fire, uh, Cumulus, and Mirantis, Crebasef, something like that. We are partner of those uh, vendors. So this is kind of uh, open stack ecosystem vendor. And uh, for category B user, uh, we are providing open stack and OSS integration, including infrastructure as code skill. So we think OpenStack and OSS integration are more high level and than existing product integration. So this is the building OpenStack cloud. So for category C user, so we are providing application development integration. So we have to let the customers know about the impact of OpenStack utilization. So this is using OpenStack cloud. So this is our solution I'm gonna explain about two service. So we provide service in two ways for potential customers like B and C. So building OpenStack Cloud, we are focusing on consulting and in integration and adoption. So we start strong partnership with technology leader company Solinear for growing open, stack, open infrastructure business. And we realize an adoption of state of the art IT technology at the same level and the same speed at North America. So uh, using OpenStack Cloud, uh, I'm sorry, uh, building OpenStack Cloud, uh, Mr. Francesco uh, will explain about this service more detail. And uh, using OpenStack Cloud, uh, we are focusing on cloud native application, how to make a cloud native application. So we are, support, we are supporting for understanding we are support the customer for understanding OpenStack API for service development. So this service makes the customer to enable ability, ag agility. So Mr. Nakajima will explain about this service more detail later. So uh, Mr. Francesco, uh, please come here and go ahead. Thank you very much, Can everybody hear me? My microphone on? Yes, excellent, thank you. So as uh, Koyo-san explained, um, he talked about the challenges of uh, introducing uh, new technologies in the, in the Japanese market. Um, and one of the reasons is, uh, the, the, one of the challenges is, is primarily cultural. The fact that it, it's been about, it's, gonna, it's about a two year lag uh, from where the US was uh, two years ago in terms of getting uh, organizations, global one, Fortune 1000 organizations to adopt not just open sec, but open source technologies in general. Um, and as Koasan mentioned and explained, um, the time is right now for uh, adoption of these technologies in Japan. You heard today uh, some keynote discussions from Yahoo Japan, from a GMO. Uh, they're building, they built and are operating large-scale OpenStack environments and open infrastructure environments. 
Um, it's important to have these first movers in the market, and now that those first movers are there, it's the time is ripe to actually uh, help other enterprises adopt these technologies. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to talk about uh, very briefly who we are, who Selenia is, the partnership with CTC, and then I will talk about two case studies of work that we've done uh, for a, an organization in um, APAC and also one that we've worked with in Europe to give you a sense of some of the challenges that they were facing when it came to adopting OpenStack clouds and, and open source in, in general, and ultimately how we helped them move to become more self-sufficient in operating those infrastructures themselves. So who is Selenia? Uh, we were founded in January 2013. We're based in San Francisco. Um, we started the company specifically to help organizations adopt OpenStack technologies. Um, back in 2013, um, actually t t still today a little bit, um, it is quite challenging to architect and design and deploy and manage OpenStack environments. Um, the technology is changing very rapidly. Organizations don't have the, the necessary skills and know-how and they can't keep up with the changes. So we started the company to help organizations make that leap or bridge that gap. Um, we have offices, um, well, headquarters in San Francisco. We have offices in Seoul, Korea, and we are opening up an office here in Tokyo, Japan. You may have read uh, recently that we, uh, well, last week we um, uh, uh, had a, uh, announced an official partnership with CTC. Um, that's going to help us uh, to develop the Japanese market. Uh, we're going to be opening an office uh, in the next uh, several months. The leadership team of Selenia is, is actually a, a fundamental reason why we've been successful and we believe we can also be successful in Japan. We have uh, executives that are ex-Sun Microsystems. We have uh, uh, resources that have worked at Oracle, HP, VMware, Rackspace, Red Hat, all the major technology companies that have started to converge and deploy solutions for these open infrastructure environments. And we've been able to hire uh, some of the best people from those companies and we're going to be doing the same thing here uh, in Japan. I'm going to talk about the partnership with CTC. Um, we've been working, Selenia has been working in Japan for about a year. Um, we started working with CTC uh, about six months ago in discussions, and we found that uh, there were a lot of mutual benefits in partnering up uh, together. Uh, first and foremost, CTC uh, is a major player in the Japanese technology landscape. Um, as Kowai-san explained, um, they have relationships with, with thousands of customers. Um, they're at the forefront of delivering and deploying technologies, uh, advanced technologies in the Japanese market. Um, but what was missing from their perspective was the ability for someone to come in and help to articulate the benefits of open infrastructure technologies, OpenStack, Docker, things like that, as well as design and architect solutions that were specific to the Japanese market. Um, their distribution capabilities are immense. Uh, they have, uh, because of their relationships and their knowledge of technology, they have a hold on a vast footprint of Japan. We are complementing those capabilities by bringing in the know-how that we've built over the last four or five years as individuals as well as Selenia starting in January 2013 to deliver global, scalable, open infrastructure and open stack solutions. I'll talk about a couple of examples, uh, like I said, uh, uh, in, uh, later on uh, in terms of customers that we work with. Um, part of what we offer as well is, is training, and that's going to be really, really critical, not just for helping the resources within TTC to become knowledgeable, to be self-sufficient in delivering open infrastructure services, but also for the customers that we're going to be serving. We found that you cannot develop and sustain a relationship with a third-party provider, uh, otherwise you will lose competitiveness, you will lose the flexibility, you will you would lose the ability to actually innovate yourself. And so part of what we do, and we're going to help CTC do as well, is to train uh, the organizations that we're delivering services for so they can take the clouds that we build for them to the next level and scale them. We believe that the combination of CTC and Selenia is going to be extremely powerful. Uh, we don't believe there's anybody else in the Japanese market that brings these complementary capabilities together. Um, and we've already seen some uh, great traction with some of the existing customers within CTC that are very, very hungry for uh, developing OpenStack solutions and platforms and need the expertise that our combined companies can bring to the table. So we are extremely excited about being here in Japan and extremely excited about partnering with CTC. A little bit of background also on our capabilities. I'm not going to go through everything. You can take pictures and download this from the, from the website, but Selenia has been working with OpenStack since the very beginning. Uh, our co-founder, Ken Peppel, um, wrote the first Deploying OpenStack book in 2011. Uh, he built the first 
public cloud in the US based on OpenStack technologies in 2011. Um, he has tremendous experience coming from Sun Microsystems in operating these kinds of infrastructures. Um, and we took that expertise uh, to create Selenia and deliver those same services and knowledge to our customers. Um, we've worked with uh, US-based organizations. We work with uh, uh, European uh, firms. We've worked with uh, Asian firms. Um, and the bulk of the work that we do is around OpenSec. The bulk of the work that we do is not only around the implementation of OpenSec, but it's the design and architecture of the solutions that are specific to the business, that are specific to the use cases that we're trying to, the customers are trying to deploy, as well as enabling what we call adoption, which is the training that I mentioned earlier, as well as the implementation of CI/CD automation infrastructures uh, around the DevOps um, uh, 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 strategy for these organizations to be able to uh, automate the work that we're doing around the infrastructure. So that's really, really critical for us. And we've been keeping up with the expansion of OpenStack uh, quite uh, aggressively, uh, and we will continue to do so, and that's why this is, uh, uh, I lost count how many there are, but we've been to every OpenStack uh, summit uh, since the Austin one back in uh, 2010. Before I get to the case studies, what, one other item in terms of what we do, and this is, this is part of the work that we're going to uh, deliver to CTC and their customers. So Selenia has worked with organizations in, in formulating cloud strategies. We've worked with them in designing and architecting solutions. We've worked with implementing and deploying clouds, as well as the adoption piece. And we're going to be taking these services and helping to train CTC resources so that we can scale the offering to the Japanese market. And that's going to be really, really critical. What we found is that organizations believe they can do it themselves. They start downloading OpenStack. They start deploying it. They can do a POC fairly easily. Uh, but ultimately, when they try to get it to scale and support specific use cases around big data, for example, or high-performance computing, or media streaming, and, or even just as basic as dev test, it gets very, very difficult to scale. And so we're going to help CTC gain that knowledge, and we're going to help uh, our joint customers uh, own that knowledge and become self-sufficient in managing these clouds. So I'm going to talk about um, actually uh, two case studies. Um, one is not here. Um, I'll let you read the one on the Broad Institute. We actually that was a, that was an interesting work that we did jointly with Red Hat and Cisco in the U.S., where we built a high-performance computing cloud um, in uh, up in Boston about a year ago. Um, I'm going to talk about the work that we did for Hyundai. In fact, you can download the case study off the OpenStack Foundation that talks about in detail the work that we did for Hyundai um, in terms of getting them to a point to leverage OpenStack solutions. And then I'm going to talk about uh, a German customer that we have, which is Deutsche Börse. So one of the challenges that, that um, Hyundai had was, um, like, as you know, if you're in the auto industry, it takes three years to from conception to delivery of a new automobile, a new technology. That same time span was being used for IT, which is uh, difficult <laughs> to manage and grow the organization because IT today changes very, very quickly. And so they needed to compress the delivery times of services. Um, they also had were generating, thanks to new technologies that they deployed in their automobiles, a tremendous amount of data from telematic services and sensors and, and customer service uh, feeds, uh, Twitter feeds, Facebook feeds, structured and unstructured, that was being stored in an Oracle database, but they did not have visibility and they could not uh, have, uh, could not view it from an analytical perspective. Um, they're also so so they did what they what a typical legacy uh, manufacturer does. They went and talked to their traditional vendors. They talked to the big names. I'm not going to mention them here today because you're probably f some of you are probably from those organizations. But the legacy vendors have one thing and one thing in mind only. Sell more hardware, sell more software that is proprietary that's going to lock you in uh, and will prevent you from scaling. Um, Hyundai looked at this and said, well, we think we need to do something different here. And so they, they partnered with Selenia. We helped them to develop a cloud strategy that defined... Uh, not only the architecture, but also the, the adoption of the technology based upon their business needs. Their core problem they were trying to solve was around big data analytics. So we structured the cloud initially to support big data analytics, and then we structured the cloud to, in the long run, support other types of services like in-car uh, services that you would have on your headset or your dashboard or on your phone. Um, so we, we looked at the strategy, um, we developed a solution based on OpenStack and Hadoop because that was the most uh, economically effective 
uh, solution for uh, this organization. Uh, they needed to scale massively. They needed to support uh, petabytes of data. They needed to analyze that data. Um, it would have been too expensive on traditional uh, uh, closed uh, environments. We built them an open source solution based on OpenStack and Hadoop. The decision, however, for a traditional and a conservative organization like Hyundai was, well, open source is fine, but does it scale? Can it be supported? Uh, does it work? Right? And so in order to convince the executives, we built a proof of concept and then the pilot. And we worked with the business side to identify the specific use cases around the analytics that needed to be solved first. And then we deployed those use cases on a pilot cloud, a single rack uh, of uh, hardware, software, OpenStack, Hadoop, uh, and the like. Um, we showed that using legacy infrastructure, um, uh, it was not only cost prohibitive, but it actually didn't work. Uh, because of the analytics that they were trying to do, and the OpenStack cloud worked very, very well. We took that data, uh, we, we presented it to the executive management team, they approved the project. 18 months later, there's 20 racks of hardware and software running a big data analytics cloud for to, to run everything from quality analytics, R&D analytics, performance analytics, fuel efficiency analytics, uh, customer service, et cetera. So it was a tremendous scope of work that we did, and it didn't happen overnight, right? It happened over the course of 18 months, but that is the journey that you have to be willing to invest in because the technology is new, it changes very quickly. The organizations probably don't have the skills to, to manage and support and operate these environments, and so they need to be trained. Um, and again, that's what CTC and Selenia are gonna be doing in the, uh, in the Japanese market. Um, the partners that we work with were Red Hat, Cloudera, and Quanta Computer. Um, and uh, again, uh, because we are technology independent, uh, we work with Red Hat, we work with HP, we work with Mirantis. It doesn't matter who, who it doesn't matter where the technology is from as long as it's open source, it's supported, um, uh, and, and our, our capabilities are such that it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what the hardware or software is. So um, the Broad Institute, we work with Cisco and Red Hat as well. So those were very, very specific um, uh, partners that brought us in. Uh, again, uh, interestingly enough, this is where uh, Red Hat did not have the skills at that time to design and architect a high-performance computing cloud. And so they brought Selenia in as the experts to design that infrastructure. And that was actually a tremendous help uh, for, uh, for the organization, uh, for the Broad Institute. Um, I don't have the slides, but I'm going to talk to you briefly about the work we're doing for Deutsche Borsa, which is one of the top five uh, largest exchange operators uh, in the world. Um, Deutsche Borsa runs the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. They run the DAX Index. Um, their supervisory board, uh, their board of directors, was pushing the organizations to be more agile. They, were, they needed to become more agile to compete against new entrants in the market. They needed to become more agile to respond to customer requests for new services and new capabilities. Um, after an extensive study, uh, they ended up focusing on uh, a cloud platform that was hybrid in nature. Um, we are working with HP Helion for the OpenStack cloud. Uh, Amazon Web Services is the public cloud. Um, and if you can imagine a financial institution using Amazon Web Services, so a lot of the work that we did in designing the infrastructure was around ensuring that we were in compliance with the regulators in Luxembourg, in Germany, and the EU in general. Um, but, but the cloud now is running some basic workloads. Uh, we're gonna be expanding the cloud next year. But the goal here was to help them accelerate the adoption of a hybrid platform help them to accelerate the, the usage of these kinds of environments to be able to become more agile. And then ultimately, again, it's the business driver uh, that uh, tells the organization what kind of technology solution is. And OpenStack is one of the better ones out there that could give you the flexibility and the scalability to grow uh, together with your business. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Nakajima-san. Uh, Nakajima-san is gonna talk to you about um, using OpenStack Cloud, specifically what kinds of applications uh, can be deployed in OpenStack clouds. Um, what are s what he's hearing and CTC is hearing uh, from the Japanese market, um, and uh, then we'll take it open up the floor for questions. Thank you. Okay. Please wait. <laughs> Thank you, Francesco. So from now, I'd like to talk about using OpenStack. If you already use OpenStack, so you know using OpenStack is more important uh, than you building OpenStack. 
Since 2011, I have many opportunities to discuss about OpenStack and its advantage to, to enterprise customers. However, they often say, OpenStack is good, but we don't need it now. In this case, we can't proceed any further with these types of clients since such remark will immediately cut off any further business talks. During Mr. Koiwai's discussion earlier, he categorized customers into three types. The first type is they are uh, already using OpenStack. The second, the second one is those who are considering to use OpenStack. And lastly, those who think there's no need to immediately use the OpenStack environment. At this point, let's focus on those people who currently think it's not necessary to use OpenStack in their system. There are new media clients in Japan who belong to this category, so we need to find the ways to encourage them, encourage them to adapt the OpenStack environment on their learning their business, since they have a big potential. During my business conversations with customers who have questions about adapting OpenStack, I was able to eventually find the very simple reason why they are doubting to use OpenStack and that is they are using traditional system now. We need to understand the customer's situation and their reason in order to assist them in adapting cloud in their systems. As what I've mentioned, many customers are currently using traditional systems which are maintained using their traditional management style. The traditional systems focus more in optimization than innovations. <coughs> This system may have been changed or upgraded only once or twice within three or five years of the system's lifespan before it will be considered as obsolete. Therefore, their management style is based on not changing the system for a long time period. So they don't need to consider about quick system development now. This outcome is caused by the typical way that they have developed the system. One of the most commonly used ways in creating systems, softwares, or applications adapted by most Japanese enterprise companies in the IT business is what we call the waterfall method. Nearly all enterprise customers prefer to adapt the waterfall method in developing their systems. This method involves time-consuming processes which are far from being quick because we need to talk time to determine a specific schedule for confirming system requirements in accordance to the client specifications, designing the architecture, and then implementing the system to verify its functionality. After all those processes, we will begin with the actual production run of the system as well as its maintenance. In creating a new system, in, it's common to take as much time as necessary, so the waterfall method is the most preferred tool in this case, since this procedure guarantee precision. Of course, there is a reason for it. And that is, that is the structure of most Japanese companies. Almost all Japanese companies are sectionalized by de departments wherein each one of them are interconnected. They have to confirm or adjust whenever something is changed within the company. In this case, the waterfall method is the best way for these sections to adjust, to adjust gradually. Sometimes we take the long approach in dealing with customers who still have their doubts about, uh, about adap adapting a new system development method in which we would say, okay, 
I understand your company situation. So please try to adapt the OpenStack environment in small scale to analyze its advantages. This suggestion sounds good. But in most cases, success is not always achieved or clearly determined doing it so. If they adapt a small scale OpenStack environment, it won't work well in their company's system because they don't have the culture to utilize such a powerful cloud environment to the highest of its capabilities. So those customers who belong to the last category will realize it is not effective for their company to invest in a small scale OpenStack development or improvement without the culture to utilize cloud functions. If they try to use OpenStack without the needed skill, it will end up as just a POC, so they won't realize the actual advantage of it. Therefore, it will eventually lead to no tangible outcomes, so they won't want that to happen. In order to be successful in convincing those customers to adapt cloud computing in their business, we must be able to clearly define the reason and benefits of adapting OpenStack in their company to their IT professionals. They will be the ones to discuss it with the other department managers as well as to their executives. If we were able to successfully assist them in understanding more about using cloud in their business, overall optimization can be obtained by removing the barrier which are indicated in the next slide. As discussed earlier during Solinia's presentation, one of their solutions is to analyze and calculate the effect of adapting OpenStack in one's business in order to remove the barrier. Afterwards, we can come up with the best way to build OpenStack Cloud. On the other hand, we have another way to remove the barrier from the application development side. The first step is to change the existing culture from the waterfall to agile method and upgrading, upgrading the manual processes to automated ones. Such change is highly achievable, especially if the customer already knows how cloud can help their business using the OpenStack environment. In order for those companies or customers who don't have the culture to develop a system quickly, our company offers the following educational service, which we call Agile Mix, which is composed of the hackathon with customers, which will then proce proceed to implement the idea obtained from it. It is also based on pass fast and using crowd with Agile. It also comes with continuous support until the companies can finally manage on their own. This service can also give a very beneficial experience in developing a new system with Agile on cloud. So it is highly demanded by those customers who came forward to seek our services. Additionally, we already know what technology should be adapted to implement a new system with Agile. RAC is a one of these approaches, and it is an open source software which works on OpenStack. We have been developing RAC under the, under the OpenStack project in cooperate with some communities. If you use RAC, you can build a cloud native software very easily, and it is already utilized for OpenStack. Furthermore, I would like to give a short introduction about the RAC functions. It explains OpenStack API, it expands OpenStack APIs to application-centric APIs. OpenStack native APIs focus on infrastructure operations, but these APIs are not familiar to application developers. So we think 
If OpenStack APIs become more friendly for application developers, they can implement more excellent system much easily. So there are some use, case, use cases within the RAC now. We are talking about it in another session. If you are interested in the RAC, please attend to the video session. In order to be successful in encouraging customers in using cloud with their business, we must first understand their existing culture and then make the necessary changes according to their goals. So to conclude our presentation, building and using cloud is like riding a bicycle along the road paved with the right understanding of the customer culture. So we at CTC, in partnership with Slovenia, can assure all clients that we have the most effective means to help them succeed doing business with cloud computing. <coughs> Moreover, there are still other, other sessions which are discussed by CTC or Slovenia throughout this summit. So if you are interested, please attend some of these sessions. Before I will formally end today's session, I'd like to inform everybody that if anyone here is interested in learning more about our solutions, please visit our booth at the marketplace. We, CTC and Slovenia, have our own booth, and we will be happy to help you succeed in using cloud crowd in running your business, so feel free to approach us at your convenience. Thank you very much for your time, so, and see you later at our booth. Thank you. <laughs>